Welcome back, everyone, to the final installment of Asura's Wrath. We have ourselves a cosmic being to defeat. After beating Deus, the Vlitra has awakened one more time. Time to send it back from where it came from. The Earth? Shinto in the Imperial Hall. Almost certainly a flashback because, you know, this Emperor's alive. My liege, there is little time before Vlitra's next revival. If we do not start preparing in preemptive measures soon, it will be too late. Choosing to do nothing is also an option. With change comes opposition. Shinkoku would not respond well. Would you have our people take up arms and wait for Vlitra's return after we finally obtained a moment of peace? With each awakening, Vlitra grows more powerful than the last. Next time our forces may not be enough to subdue it. The rate at which our civilization is growing far surpasses that of the impure. Furthermore, the eight guardian generals have never been stronger, especially with such a powerful priestess. But my liege, enough. I have given you my answer. You are dismissed. Ah, so that's why he was killed. It wasn't just to set up Asura, it's because he actively opposed preemptive measures against the Vlitra. No wonder Deus did this. And there's Olga in the back, I think. Deus's office. Commander Dash, the Emperor did not grant us permission? Regrettably, no. The Emperor is only interested in protecting himself. He must be disposed of. Then you shall rise to the throne. Brilliant! Do not misunderstand. I have no intention of becoming Emperor. Commander? It is my destiny to purge this planet of the impure, and if I must be the one to guide our people in doing so, then so be it. So he's not just power hungry, he really is about saving the planet, just with, you know, ends justifying the means. But I will always be a warrior. Once we have accomplished our goal, I shall resign my post. But you'll just be sacrificing yourself for the cause. My purpose has always been for the cause. I have no desire to sit on a throne for all eternity. That is interesting, actually. And it actually makes Dea sympathetic. Oh, this ought to be good. Ooh, bad things will happen. This is gonna be freaking insane. Oh, I can't wait. This should be the final episode. And it all comes back to where we started. Giant freaking space battle. The breaking point. The Bramastro may no longer even be adequate. Which is saying a lot. Here we go. Can we see the core behind the tentacles? Do we have a mouth? Jesus, and I thought this thing was impressive before. Oh, all of them. <laughs> we even come right back down to pressing start. This is well done. Back to Stark. All back to Stark. This is... Oh, this is well crafted. Do it. Ooh, this won't be easy. And this time there's only two of us and not eight. Ah, I was a little late. Better. Nice, we're back to the power we had before. We no longer have to make boss fights out of these things. Oh, yeah! Of course, considering this is the final boss of the game, it might actually be difficult, because the beginning level was a joke. Of course, that's the idea. A 
Oh, this is one of the this is one of the tactics. Oh. Oh well, I guess it really comes down to getting first, which I have no problem doing. That's right, all the weak points. Builds up faster. Oh, we're breaking pieces off. Well, that's good. I'm feeling so much rumble in the controller. I keep thinking I'm getting hit, but I'm not. Oh. Oh, jeez. Mash that button. Mash that button. Oh, I barely got it. Nice. That's gonna hurt. I think I screwed that up. We're actually going after the tentacle thing now. Nice. Oh god. Wow, it sweeps his beam. Uh oh. It's hard to tell where shots are coming from. Oh god. Oh, there it is. A little hard to see. Yikes. Ah, I'm so bad at dodging those. Almost there. How do you, seriously, how do you dodge those? Or are you supposed to shoot them? Not that it matters anymore. Really? Nice. Yeah, but it's gonna god beam us. Yeah, it's the core, dude. The planet core. Now go. What a badass. This might sting. Uh oh. Come on. No, I will get this. This is not easy, seriously. Okay. Nicely done. Uh oh. Woo! Oh, jeez. So much mashing. Good. Nice. <laughs> we take god beams and we ignore them. That's gonna be a chore to take out. Got nothing. Oh, jeez. I don't think we got this. That was close. 
So there's where I saw the previews. But we haven't even hit commercial break. How is this going to resolve? Commercial break. No? We just took that. They're just chatting it up in front of this. Did they ask a little help there, buddy? This is going to be freaking good. Is that the spirit of Durga? It would have to be, yes. Yes, we are activated, baby. That's right, all the mantra. If only Wise Aladdin wasted so damn much, and Olga, we could have had a little bit more. Of course, this time we have Mithra's active concentration. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> yes. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! We're taking that thing in a one shot. Alright, not one shot, but that's okay. Ow, ow. Got one. Tentacles aren't so tough anymore. Oh, this is this is dangerously satisfying. Like I'm, I'm really getting pleasure out of this. Oh, we are way too powerful. Oh yes, that's a lot of lasers. Ugh. We're okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I gotta do something about those. I don't know where to dodge for this, so, uh, whoa. Ah, uh, ah. Oh. Hopefully, I get enough power by the time he goes off. There we go. We got it. I'm not good enough at those. I don't push square nearly quickly enough. Ah, they're going in too quickly. But it's too late for this thing anyway. Reach is tough, but I'm tougher. Now I'm about to prove it. We're so close! Gotcha, bitch! Are we really going in there? Oh, that's gonna hurt. I don't think we're walking away from that one, even with Matra. I'll remind you again, we have not hit commercial break. Easy. Oh, God damn it, game! stop doing this to me at the end. You always do this. Yes. That's going to be ridiculous. Are we in the mouth of madness? Oh, 
okay, it wasn't so hard. Wow. The black ball of pure evil, like in the fifth element. I just punched it. I just punched it in the throat. Wow, that's how it goes to commercial. We just punch the final boss in its weak spot. And that's the stopping point. I cannot wait to see where we go with this. Really? Can you imagine the thing's face on the outside right now? What? Oh, what? Oh, go away! Also, what are you? You look almost like Dark Demon Astra. This might be a problem. So this is one of those fight yourself kind of moments, huh? All right. Oh boy. I sure hope we can beat this thing because this might hurt a lot. I can't believe the game still has ways of posing challenges to us when we're this powerful. And that's quite the arena to fight on, too. Ugh. His arms are bigger. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> nice. Oh jeez, this is gonna be rough. Yeah, oh boy. I'm just gonna keep dodging for a little while. Yeah. That still hit me. Well. You could color me impressed. That did a lot of damage, by the way. Nope. Jesus. Can we- Whoa! I try dodging, this is what I get. <laughs> this is rough. Nice try, bitch. What the hell? Th this is ridiculous! Uh, that was the wrong button. That's okay. How am I supposed to deal with this thing? Is it possible? Because I know I'm building a burst, but come on. There is no way. Shut up. I'm not building up anywhere near as quickly as I should. And I don't think I can knock this thing down at all. If I die, it's just get- oh boy. Okay, but that's not nearly enough. 
Goodbye. What am I supposed to do? Oh, that, oh, there was no time to react to that. If I die and it's this game over, that means I'm supposed to win properly. That's gonna suck. Let's see what happens. I don't think this is a good screen, though. Wait for it. Oh, dude. That's hard. They, oh, this is hard. The first real hard fight in this game. Alright, now I know to run away. Okay. I'm gonna have to play this one extremely carefully. Jesus. One hit's fine. Damn. How do you build up proper... Keep using triangle attacks so it's stunned. It's the only thing I can think of. It looks like you build up your uh, It looks like you build up your meter really easily. Oh my god, so I'll rely on that. Did I knock it down? That gave me a lot of meter. I'm staying away right now. Nice try. That's how it's done. That gave me a lot of energy. The triangle attacks stunned it out of what it was doing, so I'm gonna really make use of that. There. Now just keep stunning it slightly. Son of a bitch. I believe I wasted that. Oh, you ass. Gotcha. Uh-oh. I'm doing better than before. Okay. Yeah, there's no good way around that. I have to stay really far back. Okay. That was close. Okay, now I need to get close to it and use the burst properly. Like now. Okay. Quick. Stun. 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 What the hell? This thing's talented. Whoop! We need more energy. Even though the burst meter's looking pretty good, I'm at half health, and this thing could take that down real quick. Uh. Ah! Uh, uh. Seriously, what do you want me to do with- Oh god. Okay. Doing well, doing well. I'll let it I'll let it sit. Alright, stun time. Triangle attack. Triangle. More. 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 Come on. <laughs> There's like no healthy way to do this, but I can stun him again. Oh, gotcha, bitch. Mid charge. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You're almost done. I knocked it down. We might have this, but we're so close. I'm almost dead. <gasps> Not my chance. Go, 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 don't tell for God's sake. Yes. Ooh. I'm better. Damn right. That was way too close. 
Oh. Wrap it up, wrap it up. Come on. Ah, oh, the game's fighting, mate. Almost. It's so hard to hit. Come on. Yes. Really? Do we actually kill it? And how in the hell do we not nuke the planet? Ooh, we did. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Never. Oh man, this was glorious. Oh, that's sweet. I like that a lot. That was freaking glorious. And this game didn't have as much, you know, gameplay as most games have, but I don't care. I cannot get over how much fun I had with this. Seriously. The presentation was just, I've never seen anything like this. I mean, the sheer scale of everything. I cannot believe it. Hey! The girl, the nameless girl, she was only voiced by one voice actor, so presumably she speaks in Japanese without subtitles no matter what. Interesting. Well done, Capcom. Well done indeed. You're damn right. Probably not the best score. Yeah. Whatever. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now what? I never really did figure out what this thing's deal was, you know? Question mark, yet God knows where we are. Why, hello there, it's been a while. Do you remember me? It seems you have bested Vlicha. I suppose I ought to congratulate you. The time has finally come. I am going to enjoy this. 
Hmm? Oh, how rude of me. I was just talking to myself. But then they never said a thing. Anyways, lots of work needs to be done in Araka, so I'll be on my way now. Ta-ta. To be continued. Aw, yeah. The story is far from over. For the true ending, you must beat the hidden episode? Oh. Well, I've done that now, haven't I? True episode 18 has been unlocked. Well, damn. <laughs> well, I just gotta do that, don't I? What? Whoa! That's not the real Mithra. I was wondering, cause she never did die. I wonder where the hell she went. Really? Son of a bitch. Oh, she is not that much of a dick. Wait, I didn't hear anything. Aha. Uh -huh. But how did that happen? Nice, the spider? Whoa. Holy crap. He could have done that the whole time? What a freaking beast. That was an anticlimax, but the spider's still scary. Who are you really? Ugh. Wait for it. Oh, come on, really? Astra gets to talk to Mithra for like a second. Unless she transforms? Are we fighting a spider woman or. Uh oh. This might be a problem. Oh, jeez. Well played, game. Well played, indeed. Whoo! <laughs> I heard this game left on a cliffhanger. When I beat the game the first time, I was like... Everything resolved perfectly, except for maybe the spider, but he just seems to hang around the Naraka. What the hell? Looks like we got ourselves a sequel bait. Yeah, my time score was abysmal. I died against the boss twice. And of course, this time my synchronic rate is brilliant. The Golden Spider. Okay, that was sweet. That was freaking sweet. So, it says proceed to the next episode, but I'm pretty sure it's just gonna like take me back to the menu or something. Oh, we still have... okay. Be the fist. 
What's this gonna be? Oh, just... Yeah, question mark. Where the hell are we? You have done well to come this far. Who am I? I am the true god. The embodiment of the wheel of life. The spinner of all mantra. I hold everything in the palm of my hand. I bestow the power of mantra on you, and I unleash the goma upon the world to test you. That's quite a long test, dude. And you have proved yourself worthy by overcoming these trials. That is why you are here. <laughs> a special thanks to you, the player. You may go now. Back to the Wheel of Life. You have exceeded my expectations and are worthy of my praise. Hmm? You wish to remain in this world. You are no longer needed here. But if you insist... The truth does not reveal itself to all. But Asura's anger still remains. Ooh, we have unresolved... Well, then again, look what happened to Mithra. His quest to quell his wrath continues on, but that is a story for another time. Yay! Now you can get a higher rank on each episode, or play the game on a higher difficulty to unlock extra content. <laughs> the adventure isn't over until you've completed everything! But that's probably for, like, art and movies and, uh... Uh, CG art and trophies and things of that sort. But still, I like that the game baits you to complete it. Like, complete completionist complete it. Oh my... God! Did I love this game? This was a goddamn blast. Well, there you have it. We have beaten Asura's Wrath. And wow, this game was a freaking thrill ride. It was a freaking blast. And it looks like it's setting up for a second season? I don't know about you, but I'll be all over that. I mean, I was. I was thoroughly entertained. This game is freaking amazing. The thing is, it's clearly not for everyone. There wasn't really much gameplay in this game. It really came down to on a rail sections and you didn't aim with the right stick and move with the left. You aimed and moved with the left. So you kind of followed your cursor, which can make it a little difficult to avoid enemy fire sometimes. But it wasn't bad enough that it really interfered with gameplay. There were the combat sections which were relatively brief, all things considered, although some of the bosses were pretty <laughs> freaking amazing. And then there were, of course, the interactive cinematic cutscenes with the quick time events. Uh, when it came down to the gameplay, as I mentioned before the game started, you would get rankings based on your proficiency, and a good time would be like three minutes, even though if you watch every scene, the whole thing takes like 20, 25 minutes. And if you want to replay a level and skip all the irrelevant parts, then you would get through the level so much more quickly than you would have thought. It's kind of disorienting. That and other than just a high score for your own personal satisfaction, or if you didn't get those 5S rankings the first time, there really isn't that much replay value. It's really kind of just experiencing the story again. So if you're not really an anime fan, or if you really want more gameplay out of this, this game may not be for you, but if you're in it pretty much just for the story, then oh man, you are going to be satisfied. Personally, I loved this freaking game. Um, although, I would advise probably wait for the drop in price when it's like $30, $40, because $60 is a bit much for a game like this, even for me. Although personally, I'm satisfied, but I, I may be in a bit of a minority here, so I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. But overall, it was a freaking blast, and you could even tell in some cases where some things may have been inspired from. For example, Asura's Berserker form rather reminded me of uh, Naruto when he activates the QB and becomes the giant demon fox, where all of a sudden everything's out of control and he's no longer himself. And I think I mentioned this during gameplay, but Yasha, his fighting style reminds me of the various Nanto users from Hokuto no Ken. He's got the slicing attacks from Rei, he's got the cross attacks from Souther, or I guess the English thing version might be Thouser, whatever, you know how it goes. So it was kind of cool to see that in action. And he had that rockin' tune, ooh. And Asura, I don't know if I'd quite compare him to Kenshiro in terms of style, but he is out for revenge against people who wronged him and took his daughter, while Kenjiro is out for revenge against people who wronged him and took his girlfriend. So make of that what you will. It ultimately does come down to a revenge story. 
I don't know, what can I say? This game was a freaking blast, and the cinematics blew me away every single freaking time. And once again, I would like to thank all of you for watching, and I would like to give special thanks to the people who submitted their title cards to me. So, in order of appearance, and because of, of course, order of submission, I would like to give special thanks to Jack Frost, Mr. Ryu45, Jex Party, and Jack of Antics. Thank you all so much. And as a matter of fact, Mr. Ryu45 actually made a, an alternate title card which I didn't show yet, so I'll do it at the end of this video. I get a real kick out of it. Uh, as for what game I'm doing next, it's one that I've been anticipating very highly for a few months now. Let's just say we're taking a step back into survival horror. Until next time, everyone. <laughs>